Baird? What is he up to? Not the look I'd expect from one who's about to reunite with a comrade. And where's your smile? This is what you wanted, isn't it? Returning home with your maester in tow? You seem ready for a funeral. Maester Felgreed's support is but one part of a much larger plan. This will be the first step of many. I feel you. Even with Chloe back, it doesn't mean we're any closer to home. Ray, about that, I've been meaning to ask this for some time. I already know where this is going, and the answers are resounding yes. Ray... We're in this together, right? I've got your back. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. I have a small request to trouble you with. Are you going to Larkus? If you are, I'd like you to deliver this suitcase to my little sister. I'm still not finished with my journey, but I bought so many things. I can't carry them all anymore. If you tell her I gave it to you, she'll understand. I'm heading for the royal capital. Maybe it's there. Is everyone still making preparations? Perhaps I should wait for them near the town entrance. Are you troubled, cousin? I am not sure how best to phrase this. But I would not put too much stock in neither Ray nor Elena. Keep in mind, they are not beholden to Osirius. I am well aware of that. Yet you fail to fully grasp my meaning. I do not wish to deny the bonds you forged. But I ask that you think on how others might view your sole reliance on outside help in this, a time of need. Soul, Albert stands with me, as do you. Our relations with the Empire are on thin ice as it is. They have no connection to Osiris or Vale, yet you would draw them into a potential conflict? I do not wish for harm to befall Ray or his friends. Not after all the aid they have given you and Albi. Nor do I. I see your point, and yet... Letty, I can assist you in seeing Maester Midas to Ascendros. That alone should lead them to take you more seriously. Yes. You may be right, but still... Pray give it some thought. In the meantime, let us see to the release of Mistress Chloe. Your Highness, please forgive my delay. For shame, Albi. Are you still in the habit of referring to Letty as Highness while in public? Uh, no, I, I just... Come. Let us be on our way. Uh, Highness? harder around here since our young local merchant took off a short while back. Off to ply their trade in the city, I hear, but 
I'm not sure a merchant that shy can handle the city life. Say, you're a traveler, yes? If you happen to make your way to the city, could you perhaps keep an eye out for them? Let them know they're always welcome back here in the village, okay? It'd mean a lot. Threat detected ahead. It's the royal capital of Sendros. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous about going to the city. To reach the royal capital, take the Osarian High Road. From there, continue straight until you arrive. It looks to be rather far. We should be wary of monsters while we travel. is just beyond here. Well, well. Leave it to the daughter of Maester de Forge to have actually found a cure for Helgar's disease. Oh, um, it wasn't just me. I had tons of help from the others. And to be honest, we're gonna need everyone's help if we ever want to get rid of the disease for good. Oh, forgive me. I seem to have spoken out of turn. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. I'm just so happy we found a cure. But on the other hand, we're also on the brink of war, right? You have the right of it. I apologize. It's not your fault, Commander Theo. But... I know world peace isn't just gonna happen because we discovered a treatment for Helgars. Then I suppose I must take it upon myself to restore order to the world, so that you might best distribute the cure. Leave that much to me. I know that you will, Commander. Initiate emergency protocols. Your distance. Insufficient outlast. 
Take a leader shot. Target sighted. How exquisite! Preparations complete. Might I ask what you are doing out all this way? Ah, who's there? Oh, forgive me, I became worried seeing you all alone. My name is Leticia. Uh, oh, is that so? Ah, my apologies. I am Kale of the Rettle Company. What business has you in a place such as this? The area is rife with monsters, you know. <laughs> that may be, but the people of the Royal City f frighten me even more. But surely the monsters pose more of a threat? Perhaps. But you see, I left home for the city in the hopes of overcoming this f fear I have of f people. But I'm starting to believe I'm just not cut out to ply my, my trade around here. Might you be from Larset? The people there spoke of you, said you are always welcome back should you wish to return. Oh, they... they really said as much? Mm, but no, I've got to at least try. I was able to come this far only because the people of the village believed in me. I can't betray their faith. I will return to Larset only once the city has taught me all there is to learn about trade. An excellent idea, I say. I wish you the best. Thanks. Here, take this if you would, for helping me stand strong. For me? Oh, thank you kindly. May we meet again? Stay calm! Let us proceed with caution. Perceptive range. Target Make yourselves useful. Insufficient output.
Target sighted. Brace for a fight. Huh? Firing! Energy levels low. Insufficient power. Oh, please! Fool to try. It seems we've gotten a bit sidetracked. We should correct our course back to the real capital of Sunday. Warning. Energy levels low. What's up? There's something over there? I'm unsure. Perhaps going there will stir my memories. Initiate emergency protocols. Holy crap! Is this what you were talking about? I knew it! I had a feeling there was a habitat nearby. Why do you look so happy? Son of a... I'm not getting eaten today, damn it! <sighs> this power is not insignificant. How exquisite!
Small organic life form detected. You cannot escape! Enemies. My swords are at the ready. Sir Theo, am I to understand that the Kingdom of Osirius and the Vale Empire are on the verge of war? Elena, if my comments on such matters were perchance overheard by others, it would be taken as public record. Well, what can you say? The situation is... delicate. The Empire is going to great lengths to exert pressure on Osirius. Even now, they encroach by land and sea. I'm sure that's the extent someone of your station would be able to disclose. Well, is there any possibility of war breaking out at our current destination? Do you truly think a knight commander of royal blood such as I would deign to suggest the royal city be in any danger? Forget it, Elena. We'll find out for ourselves soon enough anyway. Right. I was just curious. 
Please excuse me. You've nothing to apologize for or worry about. I don't intend on allowing harm to come to any friend of Letty's. Sorry about that. She's a huge worrywart. And a caring ally too, it would seem. Take good care of her. Ahoy hoy! It's Welch, the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. You there, scavenger? I need another item, so get yourself to my place in Delrick at breakneck speed! Keep happy? Breakneck speed! Okay? Mm hmm Tick tock, tick tock! What a beautiful city. At a cursory glance, it is not too late to turn back. After all the effort it took to get here? I understand you, Maester Felgreed. But I will defer to Ray's judgment. As is your wont, there is work to be done. Let us make haste to the Royal Palace. As you see, the Royal Palace is to the north. We should head there. I can't believe how huge it is! Royal Palace. It's even more imposing up close. Neon is waiting for us inside. Come. Wow. I can't believe all these people know Leticia. It goes to show how close the crown is to its people. Yes, she does enjoy some popularity. Will she truly have need of my help? I am much obliged, Maester. Let us make our way to the castle. Princess Leticia! I appreciate the warm reception, Neon. When I heard of your little excursion from Commander Theo, my heart stopped. Whatever were you thinking, Sir Albaird? Her Highness had a very good reason. Did you truly think yourself solely capable of protecting the princess? A one-man army or... Calm yourself, Neon. We have brought Leticia back safely. And what's more, this recklessness on her part was not in vain. As of this moment, all she has accomplished is worrying me near to death! <sighs> this is precisely why I hate the Royal Palace. Where do you think you are off to? Somewhere I can give your arm a proper examination. Come when you are ready. Who in heavens is that man? How dare he speak in such a manner before royalty? He means no offense. That is Maester Midas Felgreed. Please show him the utmost respect. Midas... Uh, Midas Felgreed? Him? I apologize for my long absence from the Royal Palace, Neon. But I would ask a favor regarding the matter Commander Theo brought to your attention. Ah, uh, perhaps you speak of the prisoner we captured near Baldar. <sighs> huh. Might these be the strange companions I've heard the princess has been traveling with? Without the aid of these two, my journey would have been all the more arduous. The kingdom owes them a debt of gratitude. Very well, Princess Leticia. I will send word to notify the general of your safe return. No need. Let us first arrange a meeting that these two may be swiftly reunited with their ally. 
But your highness, uh... I was led to understand that none were aware of my absence prior to Commander Theo's report, yes? Surely news of my return can be delayed? <laughs> I see. Very well, Princess. It may yet take some time, however, as the prisoner is currently being held in the Baldar Citadel. You must arrange for her immediate release. I understand your urgency, but I cannot make any immediate promises that the prisoner will be set free. We can discuss the matter further. If you would follow me to the council chamber. Are those stairs across from the garden the ones we're looking for? Indeed, they lead up to the second floor. Target so I would love to give you all a formal tour of the palace. We must make haste to the second floor council chamber. Father will not be joining us? Oh, have you not heard? His Majesty is leading the frontline defensive at Baldar at the behest of Captain Bertrand. He is where? Isn't it a big risk having your king on the front lines? The royal standard is on display above the Baldar Basilica to indicate His Majesty's presence. It serves as a warning. The Imperials know there will be a reckoning if they attack now. Nothing set in stone. But can we turn this all around with Midas's help? I mean, he was one of the three wise men. Do not speak as if years of history and tension can be undone in a single night. Breaking our current formation just for Maester Midas would serve as nothing more than an invitation for the Empire to commence their attack. Letty, tell me something. What exactly is it you intend to ask of Midas in the first place? If you are considering playing at the idea of forming a band of semiomancers, I am in vehement opposition. Furthermore, we have no sufficient proof that this ragtag band that follows you are not, in actuality, Imperial spies. They are nothing of the sort, I assure you. I believe both you and Her Highness speak true, Sir Albert. But it is not I who needs convincing. His Majesty's brother, Duke Clemrath, currently presides over the royal city. I will not have free reign under my father's orders. Ray, Elena, I cannot guarantee your safety. You must understand. My hands are tied until the tensions at Baldar ease. I hear where you're coming from, but you're talking like the war's already begun. What would you know? Well, if left unchecked, spies could run amok, raise cities to the ground. But if espionage on the home front was such a chief concern, why would the king be sent to the front lines? <laughs> a harsh criticism. Sounds like you've assumed from the start that everything Leticia's doing is a waste of time. What's wrong with a princess fighting tooth and nail to do what's best for her kingdom? Neon, if permitted by my father, I am sure the general could be convinced. Or even your Lord Father, Cousin Theo. What? Consider the situation. I doubt it will be easy to entreat my father concerning a prisoner of war, or the sudden return of Maester Midas. It would be best if I spoke with him directly. W wait, Your Highness! Baldar would be thrown into a disarray if you were to venture there now. This is of the highest import for the future of the Kingdom. Do not worry. I will not disrupt a thing. No one shall be the wiser of my presence. <sighs> Say something, Sir Albert! Commander Theo! When Her Highness speaks thusly, there is no changing her mind. Just so. Currently, 
A permit is required for all who would enter Baldar. Come, grant her passage, Neon. Who knows what she may do if you choose not to. Mm. Very well. But do be careful. The situation at Baldar may very well erupt into chaos at a moment's notice. Thank you, Neon, Cousin Theo. Apologies, everyone. But I will not be accompanying you to Baldar. After all, Kato still needs someone to defend it. We understand. Thank you, cousin. Letty, if you sense any danger, turn back immediately. And that goes for Ray and the others as well. We will, rest assured. And Albi, please continue to watch over Letty for me. I will do what I can. You sound as if you've given up already. I suppose you're my only hope then, Ray. I'll see what I can do. Have I no one to count on? Ray, let us pay Maester Midas a visit. He is like as not to be in the Semiomancy Consortium. How exquisite! Apologies. Uh, uh, let us leave. How oh, exquisite. Excited. How exquisite! The Semiomancy Consortium is located on the east side after departing the palace. The Semiomancy Consortium is on the east side of the plaza. Uncle Midas is waiting for us there. I hope he's staying out of trouble. To the east of here, you shall see the Semiomancy Consortium. I wonder what it's like in there. So, it was you who showed it to Leticia. I admit it. How could I not? I shared in her anguish. If our knights are to face the Imperials, we will have need of them. Do not suffer children their foolish dreams. You are why I find myself here. Hmm? Maester Midas, Director Melthea. Ah. <sighs> I am relieved to see you return in good health, Princess Leticia. And who are you? I am Melthea, the director here at the Osseria Semiomancy Consortium. A pleasure to meet you. Midas was just telling me of the pleasant journey you all had together. So, how did talks go with that twit Neon? Well... Um, so now we're heading straight for Baldar. And for what? I said I would support Albert and Elena. 
But I will rescind that promise if you intend to risk your life so meaninglessly. Our good friend Chloe is being held captive in Baldar. We have to get to her. You understand, this is not up for debate. Hmm. I will not prostrate myself before the king. Go, return with your friend. I shall await here. Thanks, Midas. <laughs> You seem to understand Maester Midas quite well. Uh... Let us speak of the matter upon your return. <sighs> you have places to go and people to free. I truly pray time is on your side, Raymond. Let us make haste to Baldar. We have not the time to dawdle here any longer. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, Leticia. Am I glad to see you? I got myself totally lost. Is that so? Well, how fortunate that I have found you. I'm really kind of surprised. Didn't expect this place to be so huge. This is the royal capital and one of the largest cities in the world. Her buildings vary greatly, so those new to her streets often become lost. You seem pretty happy. Oh, do I? Sure do. It's like you're so proud you can barely contain it. Well, this is my birthplace, after all. And to hear you acknowledge her grandeur pleases me so. I mean, all goofiness aside, it's a beautiful city. It'd be pretty much perfect if you couldn't get lost in it, though. I cannot say I agree, but I do thank you. Exquisite.
feels as if we have been away from the capital for quite some time. It is comforting to be back on her streets again. Indeed. Though a storied past with this city we do have, it is yet our home. This is true. Very well then, Your Highness. I shall bid you farewell. I have pressing business to attend to. Oh, will you be visiting your shop? My shop? What do you mean? The one famous for its sugary confections, of course. You oft frequent there, do you Your not? Your Highness, you knew? Oh, you were intending to be covert? Uh, uh, uh. You oft visited that shop, but always under some pretense. I thought you quite enjoyed its delicacies, so I did my best not to disturb. Ah, but now, come to think of it, you oft did seem to grow nervous in Ralph. Heavens! I cannot believe you knew all this. Is it really so shocking? We are in each other's company more often than not. I do know you quite well. Uh, I see. In fact, I should very much like to see this favorite shop of yours. Could you take me with sometime? Uh, but of course. I am certain you will enjoy it as much as I, Your Highness. Did you see my sister? Isn't she just the greatest? I suppose I can finally let go of this now. Glad to be of assistance. I followed what was written down on that piece of paper. All in the hopes of finding something. But as fate would have it, I'm not the adventuring type. I'm sure you will be able to make more use of it than me. it. Small organic life form detected. How 
very diverting. Straight south through the Osarius Plains, we will eventually arrive at Baldar Citadel. Baldar Citadel? doing at my daughter's grave. Roach? What in the world? You say my daughter dropped the brooch? Glad to be of assistance. She was attacked by monsters one day while walking alone on the Osirius Plains. She didn't make it. Thank you for finding her brooch. I'm sure she's watching peacefully from the afterlife. in us. Once they get back. Uh, wait, maybe I'd better handle that thing first. Gosh, I have so much to do. You know what? I've been working so hard, I think I deserve a little reward for myself. <laughs> now, what to buy, what to buy? <laughs> um, did you happen to buy all of these things, Welch? Perhaps it would be better to save money if you wish to restore your family's wealth. <gasps> You've startled me for the last time, Buster! 
This is exactly what I needed! Now I can make another new product! The dosh is adding up slowly but surely! Time to reward myself! Uh. You've got it all wrong! I don't have it in me to waste one single fall! Every one of these items were originally property of the Vineyard family. All I'm doing is buying back what was seized from us. Uh, uh, well, there might be a few things that I've indulged in. But that's not the point here. As your reward, I'll give you a lesson in the alchemy secrets of the Vineyard family. Um, okay. I'll buzz you when I need something else. Make sure to keep your schedule open, scavenger. I am not wastefully spending fall. Got it? Glad to be of assistance. But they're all out of stock. Could you bring some for me? This is a chronic illness in my chest that I often battle with. Though I've heard of a nasty disease going around lately. Great help for me. Glad to be of assistance. I had this nagging worry that I might have contracted that disease everyone is talking about. But I should be better now. Now, I can even write a letter to my son in Osarius. I bet he's eagerly awaiting one. usually sends me letters all the time, but I haven't gotten one today. It's odd. Oh, I know! A 
Would you be able to go to Rival and, and pick up her letter directly? If I go myself, then the whole letter thing starts to feel a little pointless. I just really enjoy getting them from her. My son was waiting for a letter from me. Oh my. I'd better write one now. He shouldn't worry about me so much. There we go. Thank you for waiting. Please take this to my son. Took a while. Well, but you brought the letter. Wow. Glad to be of assistance. I'm so glad I asked you for help. Now I can feel like myself again without that hanging over me. I don't feel like doing anything without Mom's letters. I finally finished writing it. Now, I just need to get him to read it. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Um, excuse me. Could I ask you to deliver this novel to the magnificent writer in the royal capital for me? I wrote it myself. It's called The Thin Line Between Life and Death. I really, really need him to read it. Seems to be getting her down. 
And don't let them take a sneaky nibble on the road. Make it worth your while if you deliver in one piece. actually read it? Oh, wow, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be of assistance. Trash? You really said that? Oh, I mean, I guess I am a beginner after all. That's just what great writers are like. It means that my work is still not up to his standards. I saw you carrying one just like it, so it must have some kind of value to you, right? One man's trash is another's treasure. How exquisite. Well, those are the ones who delivered that novel to me. I know I broken trash. That was all wrong. I read it over again down some advice. I will take it to the office. I will do my very best. It's somewhat unpolished, but I can really see the potential. I was so busy before, I didn't have time to digest its themes. Advice on my novel? Oh my gosh!
Threat detected ahead. conflict. Enemies up ahead. I've got your back. Target sighted. Oh, exquisite. 